Hello, I'm Shirley and welcome to my channel. Today I thought I'd talk to you about the beautiful lemon lime and maranthus and what we can do to bush and fluff them up when they feel a look a bit thinned out. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. So here is my lemon lime. She's a maranta and she is absolutely beautiful. The problem is that she's thinned out at the back. So I've got to try to do some magic today and fill her out. So if you've got this kind of problem and you're not sure what to do, then uh, keep watching because I'm going to show you the magic. And I also have a um, Maranta Fascinata and she also, as you can see, has thinned out quite a lot. Um, quite quickly during the summer, I, I must have been so busy I just didn't realise. But anyway, I've saved them up so that I can put them together and um, show you what to do. Now, a little while ago, when I realised that she was thinning at the back, um, she had a, a long, beautiful long sort of train down here, but it was all quite thin and then there was leaves like the, the Marantha here. So what I did was cut the bushiest part and took a cutting. And what I did was where it's difficult to show you where the biggest node is and all the little branches are coming off I went down a little way found another node and then cut under it and then I just put it in plain water which you have to change like once a week or something as you see the water starting to get a bit cloudy just throw it out and put some fresh in. You can put a little bit of feed in if you like, but you've got to be very careful because this is a very small amount of water, as you can see. If you put too much uh, feed in there, you, you're going to you know, upset the, the leaves and they'll go yellow or something. So um, I've just played plain water. I haven't put anything in. And they fluffed up. She's had some, some uh, new leaves have opened while I'm waiting for the roots to come through. I'd say it took about um, perhaps a month and I wanted the roots to grow at least an inch. Well, you can see it's at least two inches there, maybe a bit, bit longer. And um, that to me is about right now to be able to plant her in. So what I'm going to do is put, if I can just put this over here for a minute, I'm going to put the new one with the roots at the back. I think, I think I'm going to put it here, somewhere here in this space and then she will grow on and when I plant her there you'll see miraculously that she's going to look a lot fuller than she is now and she's not too bad at the moment but it's funny as you put them on a windowsill or something and they um, are exposed to the light on the one side then they keep growing to the light growing to the light and of course as they're doing that you know I've forgotten my little tool to dig so I'm going to dig with some scissors um, then they're you know they're facing the light so the back starts to get straggly uh, less leaves and all of that so that's why they get like this after a while if you can remember to turn them around every you know month or something then that would work um, and would stop this but where I was putting her it's going to be difficult to know where to put her now she's she's had quite a lot of light so she's got leaves all around but I think that's the, the best part Put her down there, pop her in very carefully. Don't want to squash and destroy anything I've just managed to create over the last few months. I should have done this sooner, but I wanted to save it for a video. And of course, by waiting to save it for a video, 
um, but she's got bigger the, the little cutting has got bigger so she looks nicer now actually so I'm just going to put her in now there is another one here that's a little bit on the long side this one's not so bad uh, but I've fed it around at the moment and I've let it drop down there but if that gets much more straggly if it doesn't produce anything along here then I'll probably snip that and put that at the back as well and that way you can keep bushing up your plant so you don't have to let it get all thin and, and weak looking and then think oh I'm going to have to get another one you can just trim her up let her, let her root for a bit propagate them and then you'll have them come nice and thick and bushy again so I think I might cut another one off later on when I'm ready and, and put it at the back just there because there's like a little gap now isn't there but it does fill a space and she does look better than she did so it's a lemon lime and she's got lots of little lots of little leaves I mean she hasn't been slowing down with her growth it's just all on the one side that's the problem so that's the lemon lime so I'm going to put her over here. Now the fascinata is different again. I haven't got anything rooted for her. So I'm going to put her on this stand to see if she's a bit clearer for you to see. There we go. I hope that's clearer for you to see. Now she has this one here and I mean you know you can put a stick there but it's not going to look very good is it and they do like to grow down don't they so I'm going to chop her here and now and then I think I think that will do the trick actually So the biggest bunch where all the little um, shoots are coming from is here at the back. So I'm going to cut it there. In fact, I'm going to cut it there. And then, just for now, I'm just going to pop that there so that you can see what she will look like. She will already be instantly bushier than she was before. A lot healthier looking. And she will grow better this way she will grow better this way so i'm just leaving that there for you for now but what we're going to do is leave her in the water give her a say a month and you should be able to see some roots by then but let the roots grow at least an inch or an inch and a half that's an inch that's an inch and a half because i have an amazing way of measuring with my eyes anyway so there you go so that's how it will be eventually. I can't see what you can see, so lift it and have a look. Yeah, I think that's going to look better. A lot better, isn't it? So there you go. So you don't have to give up on your plants. You can just snip a bit off, root them, propagate them, and then pop them in the back. And eventually then these will all start to grow down and these will grow out and you know if you need to do it again you can do it again and then you'll, you'll grow your plant back and it will become really bushy and lovely so that was a quite a brief little um talk about my marantas but i've been wanting to do this little trick for ages and i thought i'd leave it for a video because it's a nice thing to show you and these plants are absolutely wonderful don't put them right up against a window, a little bit away, um, because they don't they don't like that. Um, but they can tolerate a bit of shade as well, so it, they're not too fussy. They're sort of like you know a little bit away, but not right up against the window. Um, and I find that uh, they're quite tolerant um, with what you do. I do keep them in the kitchen because the humidity again is always better in the kitchen or a bathroom um, and I find that uh, they grow really well I mean just look at all the baby leaves that she has these are all baby leaves uh, just wonderful and in fact this cutting here 
I forgot. I think. Yep. Got a baby leaf. It's got another baby leaf here just on furling. There's one coming out there. So I'll pop her in the water. She'll be nice and bushy by the time um, her little roots have come out. And then we'll pop her in here. And it's done. It's wonderful, isn't it? So these plants, they're very beautiful. Can you see this lovely veining red through the leaves? They're so lovely. And I know we see them in the garden centres, but you know, we kind of see them so often that we walk by that I don't know what they are in your country, what part of the country you're in, but in England, they're quite pricey now. These can be as much as £30 for a beautiful Maranta, um, perhaps a little plumper than this, but they can be that much, and that's quite a lot of money, isn't it, for a plant. So I think they're having, um, you know, if you want to start to want to have some Marantas in their uh, collection again, because they look so lovely. And um, they're so velvety, the leaves, they're so velvety, they're just beautiful. One of the first plants that I had. So I hope you've enjoyed that little uh, story about how you can bush up your thinning Marantas. And um, I hope to see you in the next video. Uh, I've done some other videos recently. I've done a fabulous favourites where I had a whole collection of different types of plants. I've done um, an alocasia collection. Um, that was a really nice uh, video. Um, loads, I've got quite a few alocasias, I've got those. That was nice. Um, and uh, I'm thinking about starting to do um, uh, a nice tour in the living room, but uh, an autumn theme, because we're in autumn now, aren't we? With all this lovely, cosy candlelight and this sort of thing. But we're not quite there yet with the fires. So we can still put a few plants around our room and not worry too much about them. So anyway, if you've enjoyed the video, um, please like, like and subscribe and I'll see you again in the next one. Thank you.